the B F G. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com. Today we are going to be looking at the Victoria Miniatures BFG. <laughs> uh, it's called the Sledgehammer. It's ginormous. Well, not really ginormous, but I mean, what is? But it's her biggest kit. She sent it over for promo. Uh, it's just a big artillery piece that's really cool. And, you know, there is a Forge World version of a sort of type thing if you're, you know, looking for a little bit more cost-effective alternative, although one's resin, one's plastic, which we're about to show you. But nonetheless, it's a really cool kit, and there's kind of nothing else out there in the hobby world, at least, um, when it comes to suitable alternatives except for this. So it's really cool uh, to see this project that, you know, she partnered with Reaper and Bones uh, to get it out there and get the manufacturing all in place. And I think as far as I know, it's her only plastic kit she offers right now. Plastic is expensive to develop. So it's, a, you know, it's really important that we help support, at least to me, uh, <laughs> these, these uh, hobby manufacturers out there that are getting in and doing this technology and expanding their business so that we have great alternatives out there for the tabletop for all the games uh, we love and like to play on a regular basis. So let's go check it out on our site so we can take a closer look at what comes inside the box and then we'll show you exactly what comes inside the box and build it up. VictoriaMiniatures.com is the place to scoop up the BFG. You can go right over to the site, scroll down, check in all the offerings. You can get here by artillery or you can click the little hamburger menu up in the top. Uh, well, it's gonna be on the left of your screen right there. You can't see it because I can't record the screen. It keeps resizing, but I love her site. It, it just works really well. There it is, it pops right out. But we'll just jump into artillery here. There you can see the Sledgehammer BFG itself. It's $74.99, but check it out. There's other options for it. Like there's a, uh, a howitzer upgrade resin set right here with some extra shells. You can't quite see it, so I'm gonna click on it for you, but there's an option. Instead of having those artillery wheels, you get a uh, crawler track. So that's kind of cool as well. There's also a blast shield there you can see that goes on the front if you're into that sort of style too. So you can upgrade it. It can get a little bit uh, pricier when it comes to that. Um, but if you just want the standard gun itself, well, it's $74.99 and it's gonna come in a really cool package that we're gonna show you here in a second. You're gonna get all the artillery crew so, but remember those are the Bones plastic crews. So they're gonna be like that softer kind of plastic. They're still gonna have good detail. If, if you're familiar with Legion, Star Wars Legion from FFG, this is a very similar type of material if you're not familiar with the Bones stuff. So the, the model itself is gonna be that uh, kind of styrene plastic, the stuff that the Speeder and the Scout Walker are made out of for Star Wars Legion, whereas the miniatures are gonna be more of that soft plastic that like the models themselves, the figurines, are made out of for Star Wars Legion. So just to kind of give you an idea of what, what you're kind of gonna be working with. So you, you may have to heat it up, you may have to bend it, you know, in a couple of places, but it's workable. Now, if you don't like that style, there is an alternative for you because Victoria Ministers also has crewmen for all her different designs in resin as well. So you've got, this is the alternate crew in resin that comes with the kit right there. Or you can get, uh, I think they had a couple other ones too. Oh, no, maybe they had for the weapon team. So you could kind of make an ad hoc weapon team kind of type, type thing uh, work if you were really, let's see. Artillery crews. Oh, there's a whole section of artillery crews. I knew I saw them somewhere. So here they are. They're $29.99 and they're going to emulate the same style of the other Imperial Guard regiments uh, that she sells there as well. So depending on what you're looking to do, there's probably a way and a style to do it. But remember, it's boutique resin. It's not going to compare to plastic pricing except for the kit itself. So here's the box itself. It's going to come in. It's very, very shiny, <laughs> um, but it's all divided up like perfect right here. So you don't have to worry about anything. You are going to have to deflash uh, some parts because there is, you know, just like those Legion kits for Star Wars uh, Legion, 
you are going to have to do a little bit of work. There's also uh, instructions to download. The instructions don't come in here. You're going to have to download them from her website, which was right back on that page we were just at right there. But there's an idea of what it can look like once it's painted up. And it does come with that 170 millimeter uh, oval base, which if you're familiar with Warhammer 40K, it's a Night Titan base. So that just to give you an idea of how big this gun is, once you put it on a base, that's what you're looking at. So all the individual parts completely laid out and the crew members right there. So let's get this open and take a closer look at everything and get it put together and show you the rest. So we got it all together and <laughs> it barely fits in the frame to be quite honest, even though I have to turn the gun like this just to get it uh, completely in the frame here. But you can see it does come with little crewmen, which are pretty neat. And here's, you know, here's kind of the detail on that. It's like I said, it's the softer plastic. It's gonna be very similar to Star Wars Legion, just to give you an idea. It's not crap, it's got detail there, um, but you'll have to use some washes and glazes and things to kind of bring it all out. Um, but it, it's all there and you know, you might have to kind of heat some parts up, but uh, very, very good detail nonetheless. But you know, if you're looking for that super crisp pop detail, you're gonna wanna get the resin upgrade set. I'm, I'm not, not gonna lie to you there, but um, the kit itself, you know, the plastic part over here, let me slide these out of the way is uh it's kind of you know the draw for it and that's what we're gonna probably focus more on now there is the little artillery shells and a little basket here again this is that or a little uh, crate to put them in that's and you can make a really nice little diorama of, of sorts like we showed you i think that one was painted by justin mccoy from secret weapon miniatures um that is great and that's what we really like as hobbyists crack out to and it's like oh i want that and maybe I don't want to pay the Forge World price, maybe I want to get something that's just as dope and put my guys on it, which, you know, is fine. You don't even have to paint up the crew, the crew to come with it, right? Now, there is this other piece here that you're, you know, you put the artillery shell into and then the little crane kind of comes over and picks it up. Now, that doesn't move. That's me doing that because I blue tacked it, but you could easily magnetize it. And also, it does move right here. So you can almost simulate it picking up a shell if you really want to. It just kind of depends on what your personal preference is when it comes to this particular model. Now, I did leave it in a couple of sections here because remember there's those track areas that you can buy and upgrade onto here. So, you know, I didn't know what I would be doing in the future. So I like to keep all my things modular before I actually uh, get my paint on them. So I'm gonna pull this off because all these things are gonna fall off, right? But here's a better look at it right here. So you can see, you know, the spokes on the wheel, you got a bunch of studs and everything. And there's two different uh, platform options here with a uh, diamond plating. So you can do both diamond plating on each side if you want, or you can do the planks, uh, the steel planks on each side if you want to make more room for your models or have like a, a diorama and such. And there's all sorts of little gears and pulleys and things um, that, you know, would kind of work. Now, the barrel itself, it does move, it goes up and down a little bit, you know, you don't have like, it's not gonna go all the way back because I don't think that's the whole point, uh, but it does go down and can, you know, direct fire, I suppose. And that's pretty much it. So you could magnetize it, but you don't really need to uh, as far as the barrel goes, but I did leave it um, modular so we could check out one of the upgrade sets uh, that, or two of the upgrade sets that are also available for this. So let's show you the front blast plate, which is really easy to put together and put on here. It just hooks onto these little nubs right here and sets right down on the front. And now you have a basilisk, a very basilisky looking blast plate right there, which I think is uh, very, very cool and stylish. Like I said, it's hard to fit this thing in the frame. It's so big. Now that's 170 oval base too. That's what a Night Titan goes on. So you're gonna have lots of room to crack out and put your barrels and your shells and your crew people, and you can even glue them down straight to the model itself. Um, you know, you could leave it separate for transport. You know, you could pop this off, turn it around, you know, kind of pop it back in there and set it down and kind of make that your thing to kind of transport it around if you want. You know, it's just an option. But I'm going to get this set up to show you the other uh, gun assembly that you can buy for it. And that's why I left it off right there. So the Howling Wolf Siege Howitzer, say that 10 times fast, is the other upgrade kit that comes uh separately but you can you know put it on your um bfg right here and it's got extra resin artillery little hopper 
loader things and a couple of different shells and some other wheels. Oh, and it has a different breech here. And you can leave the breech open with the plastic version, but I didn't because I'm a stupid. But that's okay, you can uh, actually leave that right open. And the only, the only thing you need is the little sides right here, which also means that the upgraded uh, front blast shield will also fit onto this, depending on what you're trying to do. So it's very modular in you know what whatever you're trying to do whatever diorama you're trying to create this is obviously the not medusa version of this kit right here right we got the earth shaker and the medusa it's it's okay we get it it's it's a count as but oh let me move that case right there so here's how it lines up once you get it up here and take a closer look at it it's a little bit easier to fit in the frame but it's got that range of motion and everything but it is resin so it is going to have you know, some mold lines that you're gonna have to trim out and things like that, and you are gonna have to assemble it. But I mean, as far as kits go, it was super simple. Um, I just didn't spend the time to trim all that down, but working with resin, you know, if you're watching something like this, you're probably already uh, a, mostly a pro or a veteran at that right there. So that's a $20 upgrade. So like you said, comparing it to Forge World, which, you know, generally you're always gonna win on price. Um, the Forge World artillery piece or the Earth Shaker, uh, Canon is well it's $128 US and here you can see it's resin so it's going to be a little bit more detailed it does come with a little few more pieces right here there's a little um, little dirt supports for it to kind of so they can use their little wheels and kind of reposition it and things like that and I think there's a, another couple of doodads here and there you can have a loading breach if you really want to and I actually uh, put a stem on the end of here. So I took the Medusa and made it uh, both if I depending on how I wanted to do Please pardon my my just primed miniatures here. Don't judge me too hard This is how all of my death car the core of Creek start out with this two-tone metal and uh, gray So we're, we're working on it. We're getting there. But like I said $128 you could probably do the same thing put it on 170 mil base make a little diorama or $75, maybe with some upgrades, depending on what you want to do, kind of mix and match, get your own style. But at the end of the day, you know, you just kind of have to choose for yourself. Do you want something a little cheaper, something a little different, or do you want to go with a specific style uh, from GW? You know, and that's and that's really what it is. Me, I, I mean, if I didn't have these already, I'd probably be buying some of these for my Death Corps Krieg army, but that's just me. You know, you got to make your own decision there when it comes to your hobby dollars because uh, the hobby definitely isn't getting any cheaper in this day and age, but you can save some money over at VictorianMiniatures.com for sure. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.